Today on Alaskan Ballistics, 6.5 by 284 Norma with 127 grain Barnes LRX. Stay tuned. Thank you for choosing Alaskan Ballistics. My name is Chuck. I'm so happy you stopped by. Today we are shooting the 6.5 x 284 Norma out of my 26 inch barrel. I made a mistake. It, well, I called it 24 inch barrel in another video, but in my 26 inch barrel, Savage 111. I traded for this gun and so far, you know, at first, I traded for this rifle, excuse me. So far, at first, I didn't kind of like it. I had a Vortex scope with a trade. Vortex scope wouldn't track. In fact, I have the target somewhere for that, but it wouldn't track very well. But we ended up putting this Louisville Pulled American Marksman on there, and it's doing just fine. And it's still a fairly lightweight hunting rig as far as compared to my bigger, heavier Magnum caliber rifles. So this is the 127 grain LRX. If you follow the channel, you know I love this bullet. I've knocked down a caribou out of 6.5 Creedmoor with this bullet. And and it is one of my favorite bullets. That's what the bullet looks like right there. Pretty long for its weight because it's all copper. So ballistic coefficient isn't that high. I think they're at 0.47 or something like that. I'll throw in a screenshot picture to correct myself. I did two different lot numbers, three or four actually. One with Lapua Brass that I had once fired. Uh, once with twice fired Lapua Brass and once with Norma Brass. Today we're going to test over the chronograph the once fired and the Norma Brass and see if there's any kind of difference. Didn't have a lot of this, didn't have a lot of Reloader 22 powder, so we're only gonna fire three shots of each over the chronograph. And then we're gonna fire one of the Lapua Brass into some pork shoulders and pork ribs and pork loins and all that jazz and catch it in some water jugs, see if we can do a little redneck science test and see is it still going to be a good caribou round or is it gonna rip all the petals off of it. So before we go any farther, hit that like button, subscribe button. We do also have a discount for Blackbeard Firestarter. Discount code Alaskan. Make sure you go check them out. That'll help the channel. Without further ado, let's move on to the video. by 284 Norma. I got three rounds with Nosler Brass and then three rounds with Lapua Brass. We'll see the difference here. Let's see. Here we go. 127 grain Barnes LRX. 30.58. Yeah, make sure I hold on to that brass. 30.61. That last one was ruined my standard deviation there. All right, here we go. 6.5 by 284 Norma. Lapua Brass. Here we go. Sighted in with this stuff. Half inch groupers. 53. So about a 20 foot per second spread. I can work on that a little bit. Work on my powder charges. Maybe buy a better scale. So anyway, not bad. Absolutely powerful. That's about 140-ish to 100, well, maybe 160-ish more than 6.5 Creedmoor. So not too bad. And I've killed a caribou with 6.5 Creedmoor with that bullet. So this ought to do just, just fine and dandy. So here's our add-up slide. I will let you pause the video and read it if you want to. The Lapua Brass did do better on standard deviation. I got to find a better scale than the Lyman Powder Dispenser Generation 6 Electronic Powder Dispenser. So if you have any ideas in the comments, I don't really like analog scales that much, especially the RCBS one. I've had bad luck with that in the past. 
So if you have one that you would recommend, put it down in the comments and let's move on to the penetration test. So well, here we are doing our penetration test. 6.5 by 284 Norma, right there. A little bit bigger than a 6.5 Creedmoor. You guys saw the, the chronograph. Now we're gonna do the penetration test. We got some pork ribs, a pork loin, and some redneck water bottles to try to catch this and some newspapers in the back. Hopefully we'll catch this bullet. These, I, I tend to believe this is gonna shred its pedals at this close distance, going over 3,000 feet per second. So we'll see. Let's see how we did. All right, so here's where we hit the pork ribs, splattered them pretty good. The pork loin is splattered over here on the ground. I don't want to pick that nasty thing up, but look at that. It's just split in half. Looks like the bullet was diving, so it kind of hit, it kind of hit low and do dove too. And so it started hitting along the side here and we found it right there. It kind of just stopped shredded one pedal you can tell like i said it might shred some pedals but one thing about uh six five caliber it, they do deflect like even in my caribou it deflected a little bit so we'll get this home weigh it measure it that's some awesome expansion from the lrx just wide and not the best shot in the world but hey if that's the shot you made on a grizzly bear or a moose or a caribou it would it would do the job so you definitely don't want to be hit by that let's take this home weigh it measure it and let's get it done all right, let's take that 6.5 by 284 Norma bullet and let's weigh it. 118.5, not too shabby. 118.5, that's very good weight retention considering it lost a pedal. Not bad at all. Expansion at the widest point, 0 0.825, 0 0.825 at the widest point. While I'm here, I'm going to show you some accuracy. Let's see, right here, this is a group I shot while sighted in, edge to edge. We're at 0 .067, center to center, eh, 0.421 that way, a little wider this way, 0.444, center to center. That's one group. Another group, first day I was testing the reloads for accuracy, this is my tightest group out of the rifle at the time. You can see this one is .953 edge to edge, maybe a little bit wider this way. Yeah, 1.039 edge to edge, if I can get it held exactly right. Center to center, .837, not bad, and then... I shot another group after adjusting and the vortex scope just didn't track very well. It's throwing things all over the place, but it was holding zero, just not zeroing in the right place. Um, 5.61 center hole to center hole. Edge to edge on this one's 0.745-ish. It's hard to tell where the edge is. But then the Mac Daddy of all the groups was the third one. I fired this one just fast. Just to see how fast I could do it. Center hole to center hole right in there. 0.269. Not my tightest group out of that rifle. But I will do that group later in another ammunition video. But I do like this 127 grain LRX performance on game. Well, that was some really, really interesting results. The speed from the round was about where I wanted it to be. Reloader 22 was the only powder I could use that got significantly more than 6.5 Creedmoor. Other powders got like 50, 60, 70 feet per second more, but this one was the only one that was getting 160 feet per second more. That being said, the Bergara that I shoot my 6.5 Creedmoor out of, I didn't put it on camera, but it shoots these factory rounds in the 127 grain LRX with... 2888 as its 
speed, which is a little higher than what the box says. So we did get a significant speed bump. I was surprised it didn't shed all of its pedals, to be honest with you, and I'm pleasantly surprised about that. So if you think you would use this on caribou, deer, elk, moose, black bear, you know, obviously probably not a grizzly bear cartridge, but if you had to and you shot it through the mouth and into the brainstem, let me know in the comments what you would like to use this on or what you'd like to see me hunt with this ammunition. Plan on using this for black bear all spring just because I want to get another caliber at big game animals. We are on Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, Subscribestar. You know, support us there. We do have a discount code with Blackbeard Fire and Blackhound Optics. Discount code Alaskan. Go check them out. And make sure you like, share, and subscribe, guys. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range.